This UGC creator is known as Natalie, and Natalie was a very popular figure in the community, earning tens of thousands of dollars and even raising $20,000 for charity. The game that she stole was known as Arcade Island, an immensely popular game with tons of visits. Essentially like an arcade but in Roblox, developed by arcade fanatic BC Blake 101 Natalie seemed like a good person to many. She did many good things in her career, including being featured on the Roblox Twitter page for raising $20,000 to help support the sea animals. However, it was also revealed that her sea animals was copied from someone else. In today's video, we are going to read out about games that Natalie stole. She tried to take Arcade Island and make it into a more successful game than the original, in which the creator of Arcade Island was very hesitant to stand up for himself. Once he finally did, this RTC thread blew up, and I feel it is worth mentioning to talk about. My name is Snooky Alex, and this is our Roblox series, where we get right into the Roblox news, drama, tips and tricks, and more. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hash Junior Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in today's video, make sure to subscribe for this Roblox drama, news, tips and tricks, and more. We are so close to 14k, please help us get there by subscribing. It only takes a second. Alright, no hesitation, let's get right into the thread. Which the thread reads, Last year, Natalie Clava willfully stole the name and theme of Arcade Island to turn it into a simulator. I never want drama. However, in light of the recent events, I believe it is my responsibility to share truth in how I was treated regardless of what happens to me. I was shown a video by a fan and reached out. After reaching out, she posted, Roblox kids with their non-existent trademarks and non-binding contracts trying to threaten legal action. This tweet and others were shortly deleted after friends and I replied. Hi Natalie, I'm reaching out from Beast Studios. I've been informed of your new game, Arcade Island, by a fan. Although the style is drastically differentiated between my own and your game, issues may arise with having the exact same name in a short matter of time. Please consider altering your branding to respect the originality of our content and game, and which, although it is likely you have seen, have, can be found here. BC replied extremely unprofessional. I attempted to stop this from getting ugly, and you chose to act unprofessionally. Arcade Island is not trademarked, however that does not take away that you have mimicked my original name and branding. At the time of posting this thread, several tweets under PlayBP, her studio, teasing the upcoming game are still up. Here is one of those tweets. With two more message requests for myself, two weeks later I finally received a response. This response seemed rather random. Seeing that the game was originally going to be called Trampoline Island? It is generally frowned upon to copy the title of an established game. If you contacted me early on, it would be a different situation, but now we're far into the development and it would be pricey to rebrand. I didn't know your game existence until your game reached out to me. The original game was going to be called Trampoline Island, a trampoline theme park theme game with the same premise as Arcade Island, but I thought an arcade would appeal to kids more. Yep, that's an excuse. But that being said, I will compromise and add Simulator into the title, but there's as much as I can do unless you have other ideas. I can't afford to pay for all the revisions to our code slash graphics otherwise. Let me know how you feel about that. Arcade Island at the time had been out for a while. It was also in the Play Together short for a few weeks. It was number one in search results for Arcade Island, and number two for Arcade. A simple search would show the title of my established game. She went out with the seeds. The description of the game was also oddly similar into my own and how it was laid out. Comparing the two descriptions, it seems that my description was used as a reference. As you can see, one says, play over 15 working arcade games. This one says, play games at the arcade, and they both copy the emoji format. I replied back to Natalie and honestly looking back, wish I could have stood up for my own work more. I believe I had around 100 followers at the time. Admittedly, I was very nervous and began to accept your proposed resolution too quickly. Hi Natalie, before you begin, I appreciate you taking the time to message me back and appreciate your consideration to come to a resolution within this issue. 
That being said, I must say, being ignored for nearly two weeks is not only frustrating, but stressful for myself and the remainder of the team. This period of time, as well as other unethical, quickly deleted posts, including Roblox kids with their non-existent trademarks and non-binding contracts trying to threaten legal action, and best decision anyone could ever make, are comments I can confidently say no developer, regardless of status, should be making, whether directly or indirectly. In regards to the game, you, Natalie, you are the only person who knows where the origin of your game came from. Although the evidence points against you not knowing, including the time my game was out for the public to play, the game descriptions being similar in design agreeable upon audiences other than myself. My game appearing the number one research result for Arcade Island and number two for Arcade, only you have the truthful answers to the roots of your game. Taking a look at commissions for ads and logos, and although you continue to hire artists long after my message, although looking up your logo designer and finding out the majority of his projects cost $10 according to his page, I am somewhat willing to agree that rebranding would be a pricey solution. However, in a whole, myself and the development team are willing to come to possible terms with you adding Simulator to your own game. I will be in further contact with my team. Natalie made a response within minutes, claiming to have had hundreds of unchecked DMs. At the time, she had opened 3D modeling commissions. From a business perspective, it seemed senseless to ignore DMs with open commissions. I replied and to my regret accepted the compromise. I would asked Natalie a few more questions in my reply. I asked about how my game and myself couldn't have been noticed. She said she wouldn't answer any more questions, likely because she had no more logical answers. I was still nervous. By now, I was desperate. I was watching the game get 100 plus players, and I just wanted my game to have the chance to grow in the future. I had reached out to someone that they were going to create content for the game to try and share the truth behind it, still nervous. Natalie said, stop with the jealousy and childness. You're making things ugly and embarrassing yourself in the process. Natalie proceeded to make a tweet regarding this exchange. This tweet, although truthful in that I accepted the compromise, didn't highlight the rest of our communication. It also claimed she had rebranded when in reality she added one word to the title. Natalie, when she still had an account, said, ran into an issue with someone in regards to the brand name of my game. Rebranded for them to respect the originality of theirs and they were happy. Then they're going out of their way to make sure people don't make videos on my game. How fake can you be? Hello, like, no, this doesn't make sense. An account named Jake Brown, unrelated to my organization, questioned the situation leading to several rude comments. One comment reads, you have zero knowledge of game development and it shows. The account also replied with this video. Natalie later discontinued the game, claiming that it was bleeding money. Why am I posting this now? Natalie's posts about her comments are rather unorganized and very conflicting stories. In one post she apologizes and the other she claims the account was a troll. This cannot continue. Hey guys, I want y'all to pay attention to this. I have seen posts others that are occasionally complaining. I can't allow this to continue. I hate trauma and cancel culture. My goal here is to spread information and hopefully encourage change. I care for all and hope all can learn to be better people. My tweets reflect that. Please read before replying. For those of you sending hate to any user involved, hate doesn't help change. Regardless of how people act, there is a real person behind every creator. Despite my frustration, I still respect that and care. You should too. Let me guys know your thoughts on this situation and as always, this is for information purposes, this is not to attack anyone. So please let me know your guys thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.